welcome back to Catholic Home Life. My name is Lindsay, and I also wanted to welcome you to our new homeschooling room. For those of you that don't know, we moved in July, and one of the reasons that we love this house so much is that it had a room that we could totally have dedicated to all of our homeschooling. And so we have some shelves, and I put this folding table in here with a tablecloth over it, and soon I'm hoping to get like a whiteboard to hang on the wall over there. So if you're interested in having like a tour of the room, let me know in the comments below. But today what I wanted to talk to you about was our curriculum choices that I picked for this school year. This is for the 2018-2019 school year. So I don't want this video to be super long, so I'm just going to get right into it. We have a pre-kindergartner, a first grader, and a fourth grader. So I'm teaching three kids this year, and I'm just gonna walk you through what I chose for each child. So our daughter, she is four years old. She's going to be five in December. So she kind of has a tricky birthday where she's ready for a lot of things, but she's not technically in kindergarten yet, so I'm calling her preschool still. So I'm gonna start her on All About Reading Level 1, and I'm gonna go really slow with her and not really push her or rush it and just go at her pace. So I have the book for it, and then it has these readers, and I've already had this curriculum. I had it for my two other boys. My other son, he just finished it in kindergarten. So it might take me two years to finish this with her, and that's totally fine. I just figured I might as well get a head start on it this year, see how much progress we make, and then just take it from there. So my second son, he just finished this at the end of kindergarten. And I also did it with my first son. So I've done it with all of my children. And it's kind of an expensive program, but I've figured out a way that I can use it for all my kids and not have to keep buying things for it over and over every year. So I really enjoy this program. And if you want any more in-depth looks at anything that I'm sharing with you today, just let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to do a follow-up video that is more in-depth on certain books. So I'm doing All About Reading with her. I also picked up this Brain Quest book and I'm not really invested in this. This is more just so that she has her own book that she could be working on while I'm doing things with the, my older boys. And she's really excited about this book. It was like $10 on Amazon. I just wanted to get something that I guess you could call it busy work, but it's just something that she feels like she has books that she's working on too. And I was flipping through it. I was pretty impressed with it. And I think she'll really enjoy doing that kind of work. In addition to those resources that I got for her, she will also be joining us for our whole family lessons. I will talk about that in a little bit. I try to have as many subjects as I can that I teach all of the kids at the same time and then I just go a little bit deeper with the follow-up depending on their age and their ability. So she will participate in like our religion, history, science, cooking lessons, all the things like that in our family read alouds that we do when we read chapter books together, she'll be listening in on that too. So she'll participate in all those subjects. I'll also be doing handwriting with her and I don't have a handwriting book anymore. I used to use a handwriting program, but then I came across this way to teach handwriting without using any program and it's totally free. And I will have a link to that video in the description box below. It's from Nikki from A Farmhouse Full. She posted it last year, I think, and it's all about how she teaches her children handwriting. And I really liked it and I thought it was very simple and effective. That will be my plan for teaching handwriting to um, my daughter and also to my other sons too. So moving right along to my son Peter, he will be in first grade this year. And for him, I'm doing also all about reading, but he is moving on to level two this year. So that's the green book and it comes with these readers. There's so much to this program that I could show you. There's like letter tiles and there's games and lots and lots of stuff. So I just pulled out these books just to give you a little visual, but 
this is not all of the program. These are just the things that I wanted to show you. So this is the teaching book and then the readers. So he's doing level two. And then he's also doing Matthew C. He's doing beta. I haven't even opened this yet, but he's doing beta. And that is multiple digit addition and subtraction. And then I'm so excited. So he's in first grade, but his birthday is in October which means he'll be seven. So he's kind of on that borderline where he could probably be in second grade. He'd just be like a younger second grader. But I did talk to the people at my church and he will be doing his sacraments this year. He'll be doing first reconciliation and his first communion in the spring. So I found a really, really neat program through a friend. It's put out by a group called Dynamic Catholic and I'm so excited about it. So it comes with this DVD, it's called Blessed. It comes with this DVD that has all these cartoons that are so good. We watched some of them and the kids really enjoyed it. So this is for First Communion. This is the DVD and then it has a leader guide and it has this children's book. And you just go through it with your child and read along and there's places in here where they can write and there's like quizzes and stuff. I probably won't have him write in the book, that way I can use it for my other kids down the line, but I'm really, really excited about this program. So this is the First Communion and then there's the Reconciliation. It also has the little movies and then it also has the leader guide and the child's notebook thing. So let me put that back. The really cool thing about this is that technically it's free. You just have to pay for shipping, which I thought was neat. And shipping was like $15 Per set so it was $30 for the whole thing but I was just so impressed with the packaging and with the content as I was flipping through it and I'm really excited to go through the program I think it's really put together very well so I'm very excited about that and then Peter he'll also be participating in our family learning that we'll be doing as a whole group together and I'll be doing the handwriting with him and just the read alouds that we do together, the chapter books that we'll be reading. So that is what he is doing this year. And then my fourth grader, he will be doing level four for All About Reading. I was kind of hesitant to get, I bought this level this year and I have level one, two, and three. And he is kind of taking off as a reader. And so I hesitated to get this final level because I thought they probably didn't need it. But then my husband encouraged me to just finish the program and go through with it. And there are some words that he still struggles with. So maybe if I finish this program, that will help him to be a really confident reader. So I went ahead and I got level four for him. And then for his religion, I got this book called My Path to Heaven. It was recommended for like ages nine and up. So my other kids will probably hear this cause we're all in the same house together. So they'll probably hear this, but this is meant more for my nine year old, for my fourth grader. So he will be doing this for religion. And then this is his writing program. He started this book last year and he's gonna finish it this year. And then there's, this is book one and there's another book that is also meant for grades three and four. So there's kind of some wiggle room of when you can do this, but that's one of the beautiful things about homeschooling is that we started this book last year and we didn't finish it and we're just gonna continue. We took a break for summer, now we'll continue where we left off. And that's totally fine. You don't have to finish every book every year. Um, but I really like this program. I was very impressed with what we did last year and we're just gonna really focus on it and finish it up this year. And then for math, he is doing math you see also and he is at the delta level and that is single and multiple digit division. So that is what he will be working on for math. And then let me move this out of the way. 
<laughs> also, I forgot to tell you, my fourth grader, he's also doing a spelling program that I just found out about. It's from Simply Charlotte Mason and it's called Spelling Wisdom. He'll be doing book one and that is a PDF like ebook. So I don't have that with me to show you. Maybe I'll do like a screenshot of it here so that you can see it. I'm really excited about that spelling program. It's kind of in line with Charlotte Mason's methods for teaching spelling. So it's a little bit different than the traditional like spelling list and test and everything but I think it will be really effective and it's something new that we're doing this year so I will just see how it goes I can report back to you and let you know if it worked well for us so this next stack here that I have is our family learning these books are for all the kids we do whole group learning I try to do that as much as I can because that maximizes my time so that I'm not doing so much one-on-one -on -one with each child I can teach them all together and so for our religion, we're going to be doing this first Christians book, and this goes through the Acts of the Apostles for children. So we'll be reading that this year. For religion too, we'll also be reading Lives of the Saints, and we'll be celebrating feast days. We might go through um, the Baltimore Catechism. I have that too. And I think my other kids will also be watching this um, these movies and following along with Peter as he's going to be preparing for his first sacraments for first reconciliation and first communion. So they'll kind of all be together on that. So that's our religion for the year. And then we've been doing story of the world for history. This is the third book, Early Modern Times. That's what we'll be doing. And we are actually going to be part of a co-op this year. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But in the co-op, they're gonna be going over ancient times, which we did two years ago. So I'm not exactly sure what to do, like if I should just go back and redo the ancient times book for Story of the World, that way it's just more um, cohesive. This is my plan for the year for our family, but we'll also be learning about ancient times as well through the co-op. So that's that book. And then this isn't something that we'll do all the time, but I'd like to do it at least like twice this year maybe. But this book, How to Teach Your Children Shakespeare, this is kind of a method for memorizing different parts of Shakespeare's plays. We did it a couple years ago and we all memorized part of A Midsummer Night's Dream and that was really fun. And so I'd really like to do that again once or twice this year just to have passages that we memorize from Shakespeare. And then I have this Usborn book that has abridged versions of Shakespeare's plays. So it's more at the level of children. And for a lot of things, I don't do abridged books, but when it comes to Shakespeare, that's a little even over my head. So when you read something that's abridged and it's written so that the modern day person can understand it, then I think you're making the story familiar to your children so that when they do learn actual Shakespeare when they're older, they'll already be familiar with the characters and the names of the characters and the plot line. They'll already have that recognition for those things. So I think it will just help them when they actually study Shakespeare later on when they're in high school. So we're gonna do that. And then this is something that I got that I just, we haven't done it and I really, really wanna do it. It is a cooking class curriculum by Katie Kimball. She's a blogger. She has a blog called, her blog is called Kitchen Stewardship. And she came up with this cooking curriculum for children to teach them how to cook real food and I really like that and we just haven't gotten into the program yet but I have my son Peter my first grader he loves helping me in the kitchen so I'm really excited to have this program that I can go over with him and my other kids too but it goes over like how to cut properly and safely how to measure things and then there's this recipe book that it comes with. So I'm gonna be using this for my kids this year. I'm hoping to do it at least a couple times a month, if not weekly. I'd love to do it weekly, but sometimes things like this fall through the cracks. So that is just life. 
And then the last thing I wanted to talk to you about was this Catholic Schoolhouse program. We're going to be part of a co-op this year, and that is like the biggest change for us. Um, a lot of the curriculum that I've been using, I'm just continuing with it, just with the next level, or I'm just passing it down to the next kid. But this is something that's totally new for us, and we'll be doing it every Thursday. The co-op is about half an hour away from our house, so we'll have to drive to the co-op. And then I'm going to be one of the tutors for the fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. So I'll be there right with my kids and all three of my school age children, they will have a class to be in. And then in the co-op, they also do a science lab and an art project. So every week they will have an opportunity to do that. And it also goes over so many subjects, like it goes over geography, religion, history, science, Latin, language arts, math, art and music. So it covers lots of subjects and I think this will just really enhance our homeschool because a lot of those things tend to fall through the cracks of the homeschool week because you're focusing on writing and reading and math and then these other things just don't tend to have as high a priority which I think is really sad. So I'm very excited to have one day a week where we go and we get to be with our friends and other homeschool families and we get to have this time where we're doing these fine arts subjects. I think it'll be really, really great. So I'm very excited. And like I said, if you want to know details about anything that I mentioned in this video, leave a comment down below and let me know and I'd be happy to do a follow up video or just answer a question in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know as a homeschooler, I always love seeing what other families are choosing for their curriculum. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you in my next video. God bless you, bye.